Hi there, this is Andy from GNA Numerical. I've got another QTS Maths test demo video for you. This time it's the horrible median mode and range all in a table question. Probably the most pathetic question that comes up on the QTS test. Um, it's also the number one question that I'm being asked about at the moment, so I thought I'd make a little video to um, help you with it. So my aim in this video is not to show you the full logic behind how to get to the solution. All I want to show you is a shortcut rules to follow to, to get to the answer because really life's too short to understand this stupid question. So if you do get one of these questions, uh, it might look like this. So the teacher has produced the following table to show the marks achieved in an end of year test um, from pupils across three different classes, A, B and C. And they give you um, the summaries for the range, the median and the mode. And here they're in percentages already. Sometimes they might give you in marks or something like that. So we'll take the statements one by one. And yes, you do have to answer all three of them correctly to get the one point that's available. Um, but let's take them in turn. So statement one says, some pupils from class A achieved less than 14%. So the, my rule that I'd like you to remember is if you're dealing with a less than statement, have a look at the median and the mode for class A and just pick the higher of the two. So the higher of the two is 74, which was the mode, but I don't care if it's the mode or the median, I just want the higher of the two. I'm gonna write that down and I want you to pretend that it's the maximum. Okay, so it doesn't say anywhere it's the maximum, I just want you to pretend that it's the maximum. So go with me on this. Um, from that, I want you to subtract the range, which was 60 for class A, the range, and if you take the maximum minus the range, what does it give you? It gives you the minimum, and that would make it 14. So that's that 14 is the lowest possible value that the minimum uh, could take. So if we return to statement one, read it again, we can now evaluate, is it true or false? So it says some pupils from class A achieve less than 14%. So you would say no, because according to this, someone could have got 14, but no lower. So my answer to statement one is false. So statement two, at least one pupil from class B obtained more than 70%. So this time we've got a more than statement. Um, so the, the rule to memorize just changes a little bit. If you're dealing with a more than, I want you to look at again the median and the mode, but this time pick the smaller out of the two of them. So the smaller out of the two is the mode at 45. So write that down. This time I want you to pretend it's the minimum, not the maximum, minimum. And I want you to add the range of 26 to that. So add the range. So if you've got the minimum and you add the range, that will give you the maximum. And for us, that is 71. So that 71 is the highest value that someone could have got um, on the test from class B. We once again return to the statement, it says at least one pupil from class B obtained more than 70%. So yep, we've got a 71 here, so that's true. And we'd say that's a true statement. Okay, moving on to statement three. How are we doing so far? Are you uh, believing all this mumbo jumbo I'm telling you? Hopefully you are, um, but let's try the final statement here. So it says no pupils from class C achieved more than 74% this time. So let's have a look at that. So what are we dealing with? We're dealing with, again, a more than statement. So what was the rule I was saying? It was look at the median and the mode. Pick the smaller of the two. So it's the mode at 55. I was saying to you, yep, take the mode and add the range to it. But, oh, hang on, have a look at that. We've got something that goes way over 100%. So that's, something's gone wrong there. Um, sometimes this happens. In fact, it's quite frequent. Um, for them to put one of these type of statements in um, where the rule fails, essentially. So in this case, instead of using 55 as our you know, pretend minimum, why don't we just use the absolute minimum that someone could have got on the test, which is going to be zero marks. So zero marks plus the humongous range of 75 there. I mean, that's a really enormous range. That was a bit of a alarm bell for us that something was a bit different about this question. So 
minimum of 0 plus the range of 75 gives us a, a maximum of 75. Now let's see about evaluating the statement again. No pupils from class C achieve more than 74%. So here we can see that someone has got 75%. So that is going to be a false statement. So if you're dealing with a less than statement, take the highest value from the median or the mode. Don't care which one it is, just pick the highest. You pretend that it's the maximum and then you subtract the range. So that's the bit you'll find a bit alien, but just go with it. This will give you the lowest possible value for the minimum. You then use that value and evaluate the statement that you've been given. So for more than statements, you just reverse that. Um, so for a more than or a greater than statement, you take the lowest value out of the median or mode. Once again, don't care which one it is, just pick the lower of the two. You pretend that it's the minimum, and this time you add the range. This will give you the highest possible value for the maximum. You then use that value to evaluate the statement you've been given. And it's really as simple as that. Apart from when you get a larger range. So they'll probably put one of these in, so watch out for it. So if you have a very, very large range for one of the, one of the classes or whatever it happens to be, and the rule changes a little bit, and it actually changes to become easier um, if you can spot it. So for less than statements, we have the four steps, but that changes to become, well, this time you take the highest possible value. So uh, if it was test scores, the highest possible value would be 100%, wouldn't it? Um, if they didn't give you percentages, if they gave you marks, at somewhere in the question they'd have to tell you how many marks the test was out of, so you just use that. Um, step two, you just subtract the range. This will give you the absolute minimum value, and then you use that to evaluate the statement as before. So if you're dealing with a, a more than or greater than statement, that changes to become, take the lowest possible value, and we had an example of that just now on the statement three. So the lowest possible value is 0%. We added the range, that gave us the maximum, and we used that to evaluate the statement. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you don't quite believe me that it works um, just yet, that's fine. Um, have a go at the practice uh, department for education test. I think it's on test two, there's a question like this. Or any of the numerous QTS uh, textbooks that are out there. Have a go using the method. Um, if it doesn't work, come back and tell me. We'll try and work out what went wrong. Um, or if it does work for you, please tell me. I love hearing about that too. So thanks again and uh, see you next time.